25-year-old actress Sienna Miller may not be a household name just yet, but that could be changing very soon. She's a Brit who's taking Hollywood by storm. With only three films under her belt, she's already the talk of the town. Well, now you've made me really nervous. Known in London as a fashion icon, here, Sienna Miller is known more for her private life and her former fiancé, Jude Law's very public affair. But that is about to change. She's starring as Andy Warhol's muse in the new movie, Factory Girl playing notorious party girl Edie Sedgwick, a 60s icon who overdosed at 28. The making of the movie was besieged with problems, from lawsuits to delays. But Sienna Miller's performance is receiving stellar reviews. Edie, this is Andy. Hi. Oh, it's just amazing to meet you. I think you're just a genius. Oh. No one is doing anything like you right now, and that in itself is a sign of brilliance, don't you think? Well, you're the boss, Alpha Sauce. <laughs> it's Sienna Miller. Good morning. Nice to Good see morning. you. Good morning. So I watched it last night. This is your movie. I mean, you are in almost every scene in this movie. You spent like a year researching it. I did. But you're too young to really know who Edie Sedgwick was. So what did you know before you took the role? I saw, I knew her in association to Andy Warhol, and I knew a little bit about him, but really not so much. And then I got my script, and there was a photograph of her at the beginning of my script, and I sort of just fell in love because she has this magnetism, you know, this amazing woman. Set the scene for our viewers. 1960s, Andy Warhol's making his mark with pop art yeah. in, in this country <clears throat> and in other countries. Not only is he doing the soup cans and the Marilyn Monroe, but making movies as well. Yeah. And Edie Sedgwick is the star of a lot of those movies. How did she Tell end well, up in his orbit? She, um, she sort of, I think they met at an art gallery it's and then there was just this instant yeah. chemistry and he basically asked her to be in one of his films and she'd come to New York. I think she sort of wanted to be famous. And she Definitely wanted to immerse herself in some sort of scene, and his scene was really where it was at at that time. And he so, labels her instantly superstar. Superstar, which he actually coined that word. That's his invention, which is an amazing thing. I mean, he's responsible for a lot of a lot of the things that we like today. When you watch the film, it's funny. We had a, a guy on who had written a biography about Warhol earlier this year oh, on the he? show, and he and and there's similarities because Warhol seemed to be a guy who would wrap himself around these people and he would get his energy and his creativity from them, yeah. but in some ways suck them dry a little bit and then move on. Yeah. It's kind of what happened to Edie Sedgwick. I think, I mean, I think, I don't think he was a bad guy. I just think he was sort of emotionally completely unavailable or just attached. So you could get so close and then not further. And he had an ability to attract quite destructive people and Edie was certainly pretty destructive. Um, but, I mean, for, for the two years, for 65, 66, they were totally together. And since it's the story of a, of a real person, I'm not giving anything away when I say that it ends, it ends tragically for Edie Sedgwick because after being shunned by Warhol at 28, yeah. she overdoses. So it's a very dark turn in the movie. How hard was it to just walk away from this character after researching her for a year? Well, this is the thing. If you're with someone for that long or with something for that long, it's, you know, you've got all this information. You know, there's a way that she smoked, the way she danced, the way she talks. And suddenly, you know, they say that's a wrap, and you've got all this information, you know, you, and all these friends, all her friends. So initially, you know, it's a little, it's a little weird, but not too hot. I was, I, I just, it had been so long, I was ready to sort of move on. The movie premiered, I guess, here in New York a couple of nights ago, yes. right? And, and your, your dad and your stepmom were in the audience. Yes. And uh, there are a couple of scenes in this movie, Sienna. <laughs> I know. And, you know, dad and stepmom, how you felt about them, but <laughs> some kind of uh, uh, sex scenes, lovemaking scenes. Yes. How was it for you being in the theater knowing they were also in the theater? I was sitting next to my dad, and I just literally leant over, didn't I, Dad? He's there. <laughs> and put my hand over it. Because, you know, it's, it's quite embarrassing. For me, I can't even watch it. Was it essential for the role, the nudity? Apparently. <laughs> this, this <laughs> At least that's what decision. they told you. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, I think that if you're going to do a love scene, that you might as well do it. People don't have sex with their bras on. They don't, you know. So if you're going to do it, do it. And plus, it's the 60s and people were liberated and, you know, but it's not the most comfortable situation to be in. The, the reviews for your role in this are fabulous. You've got other movies coming out. It seems to me you are on the verge of becoming something much bigger than you already are. Is that scary at all for you? I think if the focus is on work, which is what I'm, I'm really passionate about my work, then that's fine. As long as it's not everything else, then, <laughs> then I'm fine with it, you know. See, and I didn't even mention I know, but I'm else. not talking yeah. about that. I'm not saying names. I'm but just now saying. that you did, no, I'm good. No. <laughs> Matt. Did you quit smoking? No. What happened? I thought I it was, was a New Year's resolution. I know, I know, but it's hard. I think when I get home, I'm going home on Friday, that's it. New house, no ciggies.
Uh, well, you get a second chance at a New Year's resolution. I do, you do. You do. You know, yeah. it never happens in the first time. What else are you shooting now, or, or what else is coming out? Coming out, I have a movie called The Interview, which I did with Steve Buscemi, right. which is great, and a movie that called The Mysteries of Pittsburgh. That was just at Sundance, wasn't it? Yeah, that was at Sundance. Mm -hmm. And then The Mysteries of Pittsburgh, which is later in the year, a movie called Camille, a movie called Stardust. I've done four since this one, so I've been a busy girl. So now it's just sleep when I get home. Sleep and dog walking and cooking. And dog walking and cooking, that's not bad. And you're enjoying <laughs> all, the, all the fun that goes with these movies and, and talking about them and things like that? Yes, I mean yeah. certainly. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, sure. you're lovely, but it's, it does get quite wearing after a while. It's been it's been an intense schedule, but it's fun. I'm happy to support the film and had a good time doing the it. The movie is called Factory Girl, and you're great in it. Thanks, Sienna you, Miller. Nice Thank to have you. you. Nice to be here. And it opens in New York and Los Angeles very soon.